everyone welcome to my channel this tutorial is to show you how to make a coaster now this is it is quite a, a big coaster this one I've used a five and a half millimeter hook and I've used uh, Scapie's stone washed XL so that's why it's come out quite big Obviously you can use whatever yarn you prefer. You can use the Scapies Stone Washed. Um, you can use Stylecraft Special DK. Um, just any scraps that you've got you can use. So, um, but for, the, for this tutorial I've used the Scapies Stone Washed XL. So grab yourself a, a nice drink and you need a hook, uh, obviously, <laughs> you need a, um, whatever your yarn specifies, just use that size hook. I'm using a five and a half today just so that you can see the stitches. You need a darning needle for weaving in your ends and a pair of sharp scissors. So let's get started. So we start with a slip stitch. The good thing about uh, Scapies as well, um, the yarn, is they have a, st a starting, it, it usually comes from the middle of the ball and they have a little tag so it's really good that because then you can just pull it from the middle. So anyway that's enough waffle so let's do a slip stitch to start and you're going to chain six one two three four five and six and then you're going to insert your hook into the first chain and slip stitch it. So just pull it through both loops and you've got yourself a circle. And then next up you chain three and that counts as your first treble. That's UK treble and that's a US double. Now what I do so that you don't have to weave in this bit at the end is if you hold it against your stitches as you're working around then you, you're weaving it in really yourself. So, so what we're going to do is you're going to do 19 trebles into this centre circle here. So that's yarn over, insert your hook in the centre circle grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two and that's your first treble stitch. If you're not sure how to do a treble stitch I'll leave a link to it in the top right hand corner. So I'll do another couple with you. and just keep the tail end close to the stitches and then that will just weave it in. I'll do one more. So there you've done four trebles and then you've got your beginning chain three which counts as a treble. So you need to do 15 more trebles into this centre circle. So pause the video and I'll meet you back at, on this side here and I'll show you how to close the round. So I've done my last treble here so you're going to slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain three so one two three insert your hook into the top of that chain grab your yarn and pull it through both loops and you've joined that round there so chain three 
and you're going to put a treble into this first stitch here where my thumb is. So one treble into that first stitch there. Chain two and then you put a treble into the next stitch into the top of the next stitch a treble into the next one so you've done two treble and you're going to chain two treble into the next stitch and into the next one and chain two. So work all the way around by doing two treble into the next two stitches, chain two, two treble, chain two, two treble, chain two and so on and work all the way around and I'll meet you back here and I'll show you how to end this round. So I've done my last two treble here so chain two and you're back at the beginning here where you've got your chain three so as with the previous round you're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three here and that's your next round finished so the next round we're going to chain three again and we're going to work two treble into the chain two space here. So this treble here that you've done is going to count as this last one of the trebles in this last space. So we're going to work two treble into this next chain two space And then you're going to chain two and then you're going to put two treble into the same space that you've just put your other two treble in. So you've got two treble, chain two and two treble into this one space here. So we'll do it again in find your next chain two space. So you've got you can see you've got two trebles here. So don't don't go into this space. They're together, the repair. So work your next set of trebles into this chain two space here. So there's your first treble. There's your second you're going to chain two in between and then put two trebles back into the same space. There's one and there's two. So pause the video and work your way around doing exactly the same as we've just done. So there's your next chain two space. If you're unsure, just always make sure that you've got two trebles in between each set that you're making. So there's your next chain two space. There's your two trebles from the previous row. There's your next chain two space. So work all the way around and I'll meet you back here and show you how to close the round off. So we're almost at the end here. So what you've got, I've just done my last two treble, chain two and two treble. And what you've got here in this last space is you've got your chain three from the start of the round. So you're just going to put two treble into this last space. Oops. 
two treble, chain two and then this initial chain three that you did counts as one of your trebles so you're just going to put one treble there and then this chain three you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain now what I'm going to do here is just to show you a colour change like I've done with this one in case you wanted to just pop a nice colour on and, and not do all the same colour what, what I would do here is when you're slip stitching to the top so insert your hook into there right so I'm just going to bring my next colour in and then just finish off that slip stitch so you're starting the, the last round with your new colour and then just snip your yarn I just make a just a small knot here just to secure it and we'll weave those in those ends in at the at the end so chain three And what you're going to do is you're going to bring this chain down to to meet this space here. So insert your hook, pull your yarn through, so just do a slip stitch basically so that you're in this, this space now. So you're going to work six trebles into this space. So one, two, three, four, five, So there's your six and you can see it's creating that shape, that petal shape there. And then in the next space here, you're going to do a slip stitch. So that's just insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull it through and pull through the stitch on your hook. And then that's created that little fan shape there. And then you move on to the next space, the next chain two space, and you're going to work six treble into that space as you did just previously. So there's one treble, two, three, four, five, and six and there's your next fan and then you're going to slip stitch into this next space here and that's your second petal so work your way all the way around here doing the same thing you're going to do six treble into that chain two space and slip stitch into this space, six treble and slip stitch into this space. Work all the way around and I'll meet you back here and I'll show you how to fasten the, to close the round off. So we're on the last repeats here. I've slip stitched into this last space and you've got your last chain two space here so all you do with this one is you're just going to work five treble into this space not six so work five treble that's two three four
and five and at the beginning of your row if you remember you did a chain three so don't worry that it's it's leaning at a funny angle all you're going to do is insert you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three and then yarn over and then just pull it through and that's the end of, of that one there so all you do now is weave your ends in even though I did say that I'm using quite chunky yarn it is quite um it does work out quite nicely because if you look at my cup here it, it hugs the cup when you put your cup down the, pe the petals start to to come up a little bit so I, I do I think that's quite nice actually rather than it being a flat flat coaster and it's not likely to um, tip or anything like that so um, so I think I'll stick with um, with this size for now or you can do whatever ever use whatever size yarn you like as I say it doesn't have to be scapies I stone washed XL it's it I just I'm like I'm liking working with that at the moment so and I like the variegated nature of this yarn so it just just adds a little bit more interest when it's a neutral color so for weaving in your ends all I do is I just work my way back through a few of the stitches on the back of the work you don't have to be that neat with it just make sure that you do weave them in as, as quite quite a long way so that they have no chance of coming undone and that's that one doesn't take that long to do and I'll just show you how to do the one from the very end of the from the very end of the project so there's your last one so all I do is I would just go that way there's no right way to do it it's just however you prefer I just go a little bit that way carry on and these needles I'm using at the moment are curved needles at the end I've not had an accident with it you can see there it's, it's just slightly curved the tip and um, they are really useful for when you're working into your stitches so they don't catch they're called um, Bent's Tapestry Needles I think they come in uh, the by Clover so I'll leave a link to those below I, I got them on Amazon I think um, but I, I really do like them for all of my projects this, this is my go-to needle now so that's that one and then we've got one more here I'll just very quickly do that one just to finish it off just all the way through okay and that's that one and there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.